I'm Amelia Schindelar. Welcome to this short video about the Master of Human Rights degree program at the University of Minnesota. I'm the program coordinator as well as adjunct faculty in this program. My background is in public health hum and human rights, and I have over 15 years experience working and organizing in these fields. I've also been with the MHR, or the Master of Human Rights, since the program's inception. This video will cover an introduction to the Master of Human Rights degree, an overview of our curriculum, some about the community learning opportunities, as well as a little bit about what our graduates do after they have completed the program. The Master of Human Rights is an interdisciplinary professional degree where we prepare students to engage in human rights challenges through research, policy analysis, and advocacy, both locally and globally. The program is designed to support emerging human rights professionals who can draw upon many types of knowledge and experiences in a field that demands innovative responses to complex problems. Students in our program learn both theory and skills from leading human rights thinkers and activists, as well as leaders in other fields such as organizational management, policy analysis, and economics. The MHR degree is a relatively new degree program, but it draws on 20 plus years of engaged human rights research and scholarship at the University of Minnesota. We're proud of our history and we're excited about bringing in new students, faculty, and staff who continue to work on these important issues. The Master of Human Rights is a joint degree program in that it is administered and supported by both the College of Liberal Arts and the Humphrey School of Public Affairs. The College of Liberal Arts houses departments like the Institute for Global Studies, Political Science, Sociology, and History, all of which teach courses that are specific to human rights. The Humphrey School of Public Affairs is one of the top public policy programs in the country and is widely recognized for its success in advancing the common good. If you're interested in applying to the Master of Human Rights, you apply to the Humphrey School, but once you join us here at the University of Minnesota, you receive support both from the staff and faculty at the Humphrey School as well as in the College of Liberal Arts. In the Master of Human Rights, our human rights core courses cover international human rights law, human rights policy, advocacy, cross-disciplinary perspectives on human rights, as well as a human rights history course. As an MHR student, you're required to take three of these courses to add up to nine credit hours. You are able to take all five if you choose, but it is not required. You also are required to take a first year cohort seminar. In this seminar, you meet with the other students in your cohort, get to know faculty and staff, and learn about what it really means to be a human rights professional. What are the types of work you can do? What are the skills you need to advance your career? As I mentioned, in addition to the core human rights courses, our students take a professional core. This is a minimum of 12 credit hours across four different areas. Quantitative research, qualitative research, management of organizations, and policy or economic analysis. Within each of these categories, there's a wide variety of choices, depending on your specific skills that you bring into the program, as well as what you're hoping to learn. These courses are offered both in the Humphrey School as well as in the College of Liberal, Liberal Arts. If you join us here, your faculty advisor and your academic advisor will be able to help guide you through which courses will be most useful for you. In addition to the Human Rights Corps and the Professional Corps, our students choose a concentration. You can see here on the screen our 12 pre-designed concentrations. These draw on experience and expertise from faculty and scholars across the university, not only at the Humphrey School and the College of Liberal Arts, but also law, public health, and the sciences. You can either choose one of these pre-designed concentrations, or you can work with your advisors to design a concentration that is specific to your needs. An example would be a student who was particularly interested in LGBT issues. He started out in the gender and sexuality concentration, but found that it wasn't really meeting his needs. So he worked with his advisors to find and develop courses that were specific to LGBT rights. He took some courses from public health, he took some courses in the law school, as well as courses in the 
um, social sciences to develop this degree that was specific to his needs. Another example would be a student who was interested in both gender and art. And they combined their past as an artist with their interest in gender and sexuality issues and developed a concentration that looked at both of these areas. One of the things that we think is really important for professionals in the human rights field is to be able to network and gain experience in human rights organizations. For that reason, there's a 400-hour internship as part of your degree program. Typically, students complete this internship between the first and second years of their degree program. This is flexible depending on if you're working or if you have other needs. Uh, it can, can be completed during the semester. Some of our students work at large, well-recognized human rights organizations such as Human Rights Watch, Amnesty International, or the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees. But we also have students who go to local or in smaller organizations like the Seattle Office of Human Rights or the International Institute on Statelessness. These students chose to work in these organizations because they were specifically interested in the issues that were being addressed there. We work extensively with students to leverage our networks to help you find an internship that will be beneficial and interesting for you. We also work with you to find grants and scholarships to provide a stipend for your internship, as most internships are unpaid. One of the things that's really important to our degree program is that we are part of a larger community. The degree, the MHR cohort, is generally relatively small, typically around 15 to 20 students. But you, as mentioned earlier, you're drawing on 20 plus years of research and experience and human rights community here at the University of Minnesota. Because our students take such a wide variety of classes, they often are not in class with other MHR students. Thus, we organize many opportunities for you to get to know the other students in your degree program, as well as students from outside the MHR who are interested in work on human rights issues. These events include your traditional academic conferences, teach-ins, town halls, and lectures. They also include extracurricular projects, like working with the United Nations High Commissioner for Human Rights to research protection networks for human rights defenders, or weekend opportunities to have social time with your cohort at a retreat or at a picnic or a dinner at a faculty person's house. We think it's important to develop these community opportunities because so much of our learning does happen in community, and without it, we would not be the strong human, pro human rights professionals that we are. One of the most common questions we get from individuals who are interested in our program is, what do you do with a degree in human rights? And this can be really varied depending, again, on what it is that you're interested in doing long term. Sometimes we have students who go into what are considered traditional human rights organizations, like the Advocates for Human Rights or Human Rights Watch. <clears throat> we also have students who take the skills and knowledge they learn for advancing human rights here at the University of Minnesota to organizations that you might not traditionally consider to be pl a place where human rights is done. Somewhere like the U.S. Department of State or a community health program in Colorado. And that's one of the great things about our degree is that you can take what you learn here and apply it in many different places. Thank you for watching this short video about the Master of Human Rights degree program at the University of Minnesota. We're eager to hear from you. You can reach out to us at the email that you see on your screen, mhr at umn.edu.